janitor required in bathroom. everybody welcome back welcome back we're about to start this new school year here uh did some extensions on the building purchased a plot next to it and uh went ahead and added a, an additional uh lecture hall as well as uh an additional staff room which looks a little dirty but we're gonna get the janitors on there here in short order uh Added another science, uh, Students are reminded science lab, the as well lives. as another dormitory. We got a bathroom in this building, as well as a gastronomy uh, lecture hall, for lack of better words. <laughs> so now we got about three of those. Uh, one thing I noticed about the game is that it seems like the more dormitories you have. I think the more students you might be able to take on, which of course is going to help as far as money. When I first started playing, it seemed like the money portion was going kind of slow until I added new dormitories. Who would have thought? So more dormitories is probably going to yield you more students. Obviously more students, more tuition, yada, yada, yada. You know how it goes. But as you add more dormitories, other things have to be added as well. You need to make sure that there's enough bathrooms, washrooms, places for them to eat, soda machines. Yes, Apparently clubs are the thing you. now in this one. Seems like the speed walking club is pretty uh, popular <laughs> in my campus. Uh, so, so good so far. Uh, it's about time to start a new school year. We've already satisfied all the campus requirements for this year. Uh, I'm going to try to go into a little bit more of the in-depth things. Uh, there seems to be a lot of trash in this uh, building over here. Being that there's so many dormitories, I am thinking that that is probably a big part of it. They're probably um, so Nigel really occupied with this building Cheers. over here. There's Cheers. four dormitories over here in this building. Uh, so On I'm going to try to radio, get some more janitors what you're doing and just to the uh, saccharine melodies of make my sure voice. that I am Sir Nigel you know, there is enough and you may help. Know you it. know, one of the last you things we want a wonderful is decision. a bad the finest radio show in town coming right up. One of the worst things, one of the last things we Skills want is not hygiene, right? Because hygiene is not it, but a dirty campus. Obviously, you know, even though students can be messy at times, that don't mean that they want to be in a dirty campus. So, a second here, I just want to make sure I pull up my chat so that if anyone pipes in, tunes in, I can see it on chat. I can answer any questions, take any tips and, and advice. Anyone played it before? Uh, anyone familiar with uh, with the game? How far did you get? You know, feel free to stop by. Probably be on here for at least an hour today. Uh, yeah, even the washroom was messy in this one. Oh, I forgot to move this. Let's go ahead and get this near the door.
Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Yes, yeah, Charlie bookcase. Oh, we signed for the library. See if we can find a dash card in the book. This week on Sir Nigel Reviews, we'll be talking about a modern beat combo. A group that call themselves the Helium Baboons. I must admit, while it may not be my usual cup of beef tea, for contemporary mindlessness, and that's what this is, it was not as bad as most of today's dirge and drivel. Helium Baboons. Not as bad as I feared they would be. Two shrugs out of a possible five. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. All right, let's go ahead and start the new year. A uh, few items that need to be fixed. Come on, janitor, get in there, get that cleaned. It's curious to know if this shuts off on its own, so I'm gonna see here. It does. All right, so if you tell a janitor to do something, they they will do it. So that's very good to know. Don't have all occupied stalls, so that should be okay for right now. Probably need a shower in here. Yeah, I'm gonna put a shower room in here as well before we start the new year. Frequently asked questions. No, I've not seen your frog. So at least the kids got two separate places where they can get cleaned up at. A couple of them. A couple of them. couple lecture halls in here. I'm thinking I want to put another place for the students. There's a there's a bookcase right here. Maybe I need to put it in here. in the only place it can be. Staff are reminded that dogs don't eat homework. It's time for Spill the Tea where we take some finely dried hearsay from our shameless county and strain it for all the precious nectar we can. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge is under scrutiny for describing Two Points youth as ambitionless nitwits, and I can see why. I can only hope that it's an abridged form of the full quotation. 
It would be remiss if you had to more than they one. are also loud, foolhardy, crass, one one of these smelly, one. and generally hopeless. No, we don't do it. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. We don't do that. No, we don't put another one there too. I don't need to be big anyway. Cheesy Gubbins. One big gubbin. Out of your dreams and into your mouth. Hard work may or may not pay off. Do 
this one. You don't get this one. Just a little bit there. And now, for the results of last week's sonnet writing competition. I must say, I was appalled, if not surprised. They were lacking structure, they were lacking soul. Some of you wouldn't know an I am from a dactyl. We'll be rolling the competition on to next week, so send in your sonnets. They can't get any worse. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember? are expensive and education is priceless. questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. My respect for those that choose chivalric and knightly pursuits. 
Well, it's really very large. The Bakelworths, after all, come from a rich and prestigious line of people on and near horses. That being said, feudal aristocracy used their hands far too much for my liking. The swordsmanship, the adventuring. Have you ever held a lance? It's a chore. If you're so important, why are you doing all that work? Rule smarter, not harder. Starting off the new year, let's see how it goes. that Agatha Sphere and the Orb Foundation are targeting the county's colleges in an attempt to appeal to a younger demographic. Those orb-happy loons must be subdued at all cost. But wasting their time trying to brainwash our brainless students seems like a terrific diversion. I'm so glad we found a use for our horde of unwashed undergraduates. Students are reminded that I'm not your mum.
Students are reminded to be in two places at once. And now for the segment we call Agony Answers. You provide the agony and I'll provide the answers. This week's problem is from Helpless in Hogsport. I'm stuck in my bathroom. I think the doorknob fell off. What should I do? Well, I'd start by contacting someone under less anonymous circumstances. Perhaps a friend or the local authorities. Best of luck and so on. Visitors should be checked in and then removed immediately. Please address me as Cheesy Goblin. While I'm in the suit, I eat, drink, and sleep, Goblin. That's why I'm the best.
is a test announcement, not a real announcement. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time. Janitor required in bathroom. The campus is expanding.
where your class is, is it really worth going? It's almost the end of the academic year, in case you hadn't noticed. world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. The more you revise, the longer you've been revising.
If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. Mm. Education is non-refundable. Sorry, that's mine. 